Hey guys, it's Luma. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight discussion video. You guys seem to really enjoy these as they do really well on my channel. Um, with the one exception being that every once in a while, it's just a complete hit or miss. So to make discussions more consistent, please be sure to like actually leave something you want me to discuss in the comments, something that's been bothering you, and I'll be sure to talk about it. But anyways, let's get into this one as this one is really personal to me. So what I want to talk about is the double standards in the Dead by Daylight community. More specifically, the double standards directed specifically at survivors as... I've been playing a lot of Swift with my friends recently, and it's been a fun time. For the longest time, I used to solo queue all the time, and it, I was getting bored of my solo queue teammates screwing me over, and I don't have to rant about solo queue. We all get it. We all know. So I'm not even going to talk about it. So let's just say me and my Swift have been doing some techs, some flashlight saves, a lot of that fun stuff, or I mean fun for us, not for the other team, right? But what you got to remember is having fun will always be at the expense of the other team. Unless the other guy has a, you know, positive mindset, which not everybody does, Losing doesn't feel great, and I don't think I have to point that out to literally anybody, but I feel like I do because some of the pe people in this community have such double standards, they make themselves sound like idiots. So let's talk about this. I think killers have a massive rulebook, and it's never spoken about because everyone always talks about survivors being toxic and survivors having a rulebook, and don't get me wrong, survivors do. I get it when I'm playing killer, and I get a survivor message me like, you should have given me hatch. I deserved it or something bullshit okay i get it. it it exists okay it does i know i know it exists you know what frustrates the living hell out of me is to not hear people acknowledge that the killer one exists and it does okay it's really really sad that we have come to this in this community so let's talk about what killers find a problem with survivors do running all these perks that have been coming out recently like diversion you know power struggle um flashlights just flashlights in general flashbang head-on you get the idea these perks are all meant to be fun the thing is they don't do gens to use these perks right they're just for fun and i see these builds in um these clips on youtube you know clips have become popular on youtube recently and i saw a killer face camping a guy who was running those perks and some guy in the comments talked about how he deserved the face camp because he was running those perks now he you know we don't have any clarification as to what he did with those perks but if it's anything along the lines of just using them as they are intended then there's a problem here isn't that a big double standard to tell survivors they're not allowed to use a perk the way it's intended that's like me telling killers to stop running noed to stop running ruin you know that's really dumb of me to say that but it's truthfully one of the dumbest things i've ever heard stop with this survivor double standards like i'm sorry if you're playing killer, you're just gonna deal with these things sometimes. It's just how games work, man. It's just how it works. Sometimes the other team has fun at the expense of your fun. But like that the community does not allow survivors to do anything that involves fun. Playing with friends, literally doing gens, hiding. The standards become so unrealistic and unachievable. And it, it just amazes me that the community doesn't even talk about this. Killers have a rulebook too. And their rulebook is just as extensive as the Survivor one. It's a big problem. It's unfortunate that Survivors can't play in any playstyle because a killer will just be petty and face camp them for literally doing anything that they don't agree with. Okay? I'm not going to be able to stop a killer from face camping somebody who played in a way they don't agree with. But what I can say is that it's sad and the community needs to acknowledge that they have big double standards for the Survivor side. Tell me if you guys think you agree with me in the comment section or if you guys have any other inputs you want to add. Um, maybe you just have stories of double standards that you want to talk about, but I just had to get this off my chest as I just can't stand the, 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 the killers, uh, against survivors thing that's going on. And it, it's really caused by one of the, the this big double standards issue that just hasn't been addressed by anyone in the community. I, I, I decided I wanted to talk about it. If you disagree with me, please be sure to leave it in the comments. I'd love to, you know, have a conversation. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did happen to enjoy, please be sure to leave a like. I'll try to make more discussion videos, maybe one a week. Anyways, it's been Luma, guys. Peace.